The objective of the exercise of today is line quality. Line quality is very important to give quality to your sketches. But the most important thing is that with line quality, you can uh, learn how to have the right feeling between what's in your head, so what would you like to ex express, your hand, your pencil, and your paper. So first of all, I ask you to use a, a pad of uh, white paper, which is for marker, marker paper, simply because the quality of this paper is very good. It's a light paper, very, very smooth. This means that when you apply your pencil line on this type of paper, the line quality will be much, much better. It will look and feel a lot better than a normal standard copy stack paper. The first thing to do and to know is that you have to keep a very ergonomic position. Don't move your, your uh, wrist like that, but move your arm, okay, uh, around your elbow. That's the best way to keep control. Let's make some straight lines, let's try. First thing I ask you to do, don't touch the paper right away. Just make a few movements with your arm, just like, like, like I'm doing, you see? I'm, I'm looking at this edge and I try to be parallel to that edge. Look, I'm not touching yet, but because I'm looking at this edge, I try to follow it being parallel. Now, I will start touching. So first of all, let's get the feeling, okay? And then we start hitting, okay? There you go. If the first ones don't come well, it's okay, no problem. You just keep going because the, the more you do, the better you get. You see, they are not perfect, they're not bad. Now, I can show you, you see, those are lines. Look how light those lines are. I didn't press hard. I try to be very kind with the paper, okay? Now let's do those accelerated lines, okay? So we use our elbow, as I said before, to balance our arm and try to think of, uh, of lines, okay? So we can do lines like that, you see? I'm touching, I'm touching in this area more than in the front. And as you can see, the line quality, you see? The line quality, it's getting darker in this area. Let's do the line, very light. And then I'll try, you see, I'm going always on the same one and I'm trying to make it shaded so that it's very dark here and it gets light on the right. You see? Okay, so you should do many of those exercises okay straight lines okay we can hit a little bit stronger at the end light in the in, at the beginning and stronger at the end you see look at lines light here and very hard harder over there so we have a, a shaded line very dark to light and then we can do lines like that you see like this, trying to keep a balance. So your arm, your pencil, the position, and your head, what you're thinking to do, okay? Then, once we do this, we have to decide that at the moment we're gonna hit a little bit harder, with a harder pressure, because we want to create this three-dimensional effect of the, of the line. So I can do this here. Now, look at this line, you see, dark in this area, going to light at, at the end, okay? This is the three-dimensional effect of the, of the line. And we do this by applying a different pressure. I start light, and then I apply pressure, and then I start light, and then light again. And here you see the, the line, okay? You see, dark in the center and light on, on the sides. 
You see, it's very light there too. And, and now let's make circles and, and ellipses. Those are very important when we want to draw cars so that we have to draw the wheels. So first of all, let's start with circles. Now, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. And uh, as you know, the only person that was uh, able to make a perfect circle freehand was Giotto. But I don't think that you and I are Giotto. So we're gonna try our best. So we we'll start. First of all, once again, I try to draw, to imagine to draw the circle in the air, right position, look at the position I have, okay? And then when I will feel confident, I will touch the paper and the circle will come out. Once it comes out, I will go and make several circles. So, let's see. Okay, can you see? As you can see, I was light with my pressure, okay? The objective was to draw circles. And of course, they are not perfect, but those are pretty good, those two, this one too, to be wheels on a side view. So, many of those. Now, if I have to go over one of them, I would put some details as I usually do on my sketches. Okay, look, look what I'm doing. A little bit on the bottom, too, okay. Then I draw a, a little bit wider circle so that I have I have the wheel well you see for example an inner circle smaller to make a, to make some reflections some shape okay so this is uh, like that And here also we make a little bit of shadow because the section, this area is in shadow. I clean up a little bit lines. Here I can put a little bit of extra reflection, okay. Then I can add here a little bit of core, which means the concentration of the sky. Okay? This is a semispherical surface. So I have to be very careful how, how I'll do this to make sure that it looks like spherical. So I go a little bit around this technique to make sure I can make a nice uh, gradation, nice shading make it a little bit darker in the center, of course. You see? And we could go on and on to add some little details to make this much more interesting. Now let's make ellipses. So, first of all, I, I, I draw a, a straight line, you see? straight lines, very light, and then I start drawing my ellipses, and I make them bigger or smaller, can you see? Of course, the, the horizontal line is the minor axis, vertical one is the major axis. So, if I do this exercise, I put two lines like that, okay? Which are the typical lines when we start making a perspective. My wheels will be like that. Do you see? Okay, so this is the very important exercise you should do 
because with this exercise you gain confidence. What we want is confidence. That you take your pencil sharp, you take a white paper, you just go a little bit in the air and then you hit and you make your circle or you make your ellipses, okay? And then you can work on it, okay? So I hope you liked it. Thank you very much and make your exercise, all right? Ciao.